What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're back in Olathe, Kansas, and we're getting ready to check out another beautiful home from Rosier Homes. So let me turn you around. I'll tell you all about it. All right, so say hello to the Camellia floor plan from Rosier Homes. I love, I love the exterior of it. Looks pretty neat in terms of like the modern style of home, especially with the stonework, the stacked stone on the pillars and stuff. I just think it looks a little different. Inside, you're gonna find four bedrooms, four bathrooms, a three car garage, and all of this is sitting inside of 3,489 square feet. I love that it's got like this frosted glass on the front. It's like privacy glass on the front doors too. I was almost looking for a remote to see if it was like, you know, cause we've seen that style before, but uh, alas, I did not. So uh, if you are interested in this home, it is listed for $1,032,788. But with that, let's get inside, see what all we can find. Oh, righty. So this, this is quite a busy day. I've got, I've got five homes to tour and I think this is the second one. I've lost track already and we've just gotten started. But uh, so far, man, each one of these homes have been absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Uh, so as we're going through, I wanna know kind of which one is your favorite, whether it be kind of today, not that you'll really know exactly which homes I tour for the day, but uh, across the Kansas trip, because Kansas has got some pretty cool homes. Anyway, this is your front door. It's got the nice privacy glass right here. I was actually, uh, like I said, looking around for the remote, but I don't have it. So, uh, but still a neat look. I love it because I like the door style. And uh, if this was wide open, people would be able to see straight in to your house. Uh, unless of course you've got some type of uh, curtain or valance or something along those lines. But uh, the foyer, tons of things happening in here. You've got little places to go on either side. We're gonna start over here on the left-hand side. And the first thing that we're gonna to come to is a bathroom. So this is one of the four bathrooms. You've got the single vanity, kind of cool looking. And then of course the toilet and the standalone shower. Tile not quite going all the way up to the ceiling, but it is a, a pretty neat color. It matches uh, the gray of the cabinet. And then up towards the front of the house, is the office. Of course, this could also be a bedroom. We could think about this as a flex room, depending on what you wanted to do with it. I think it does meet all of the requirements. Nice big tray ceiling up there as well. Now it's not gonna be like the biggest bedroom on earth, if that's what you were using it for. Uh, an office or a hobby room or craft room or something would probably be uh, the best bet. Or you could turn it into like a guest room. But nice big windows looking out into the front yard. Old Bessie, old Bessie got caught up in some hail this morning. I was a little worried about her. I thought I was gonna walk out the house and uh, have some broken, have a broken windshield or something. But uh, she handled it quite well. A couple little dimples on the hood, I think, but it's not too bad. And then across the way, looks like you've got a coat closet, maybe? Maybe? Yeah, ooh, this is fun. Right, let me back you up a little bit so you can see. I don't know if that's necessarily something you're gonna sit on, but it's got like a little shoe bench, a little shoe rack down there. I don't know if you're gonna sit down and kick your shoes off, probably wouldn't hold the weight, but uh, still pretty neat. And then of course you've got uh, your coat rack up there as well. It's little things. And then right behind that is the laundry room right up here at the front of the house. So you've got spot for front load washer and dryer. And then of course, your folding table, which I love. That's like my favorite feature. And then beautiful tile on the floor too. What do you think about that? A little ship lapping happening in here. And then as we continue down the foyer, we come to the great room. You've got the staircase, which is super wide. Like <laughs> I might have to get like some a picture of B-roll or something to show you how wide that thing is, but it is massive. But that goes down to uh, the basement level. And then you've got, well, I guess we'll go ahead. Let's go ahead and start over here and then we'll come back out into the great room. So this little hallway right here leads into the master bedroom. So huge 
tray ceiling in here, nice big accent wall uh, back behind the bed, and just a single uh, light fixture hanging down in the middle. But what I love about this room, let's, let me get you over here. Just look how big these windows are. They're huge. And it's just gorgeous looking. Today's a little bit cloudy, but I think it looks pretty neat, uh, even with the clouds. But then you've got the double doors that open up into the ensuite, which is pretty neat as well. You've got that infinity tub back there. I love that. You can just fill up the tub and forget about it. <laughs> But uh, you've got double vanities, a little makeup vanity here in the middle. And of course the accent light down below the vanity. Back behind us, you've got the water closet with the toilet. And then let me know what you think about this. Do you like these like infinity tubs? I feel like it, it limits the mess, right? It keeps you, especially with all the tile, it, uh, I think it, it keeps too much damage from happening to your floors, I guess, would be the best thing. Got some frosted glass back there as well. But I like it. I think it's pretty neat. Maybe put like a rainfall shower head in there somewhere. Not over the top of the tub, obviously, but and I would, you know, I'm not maybe if there was if the tub was big enough, maybe. I might I might get a little spicy every now and again. Grab me a little margarita and go sit in my infinity tub. Closet. I love these little pull down things. I'm always afraid I'm going to break them. We're going to try it real quick just because. Now, oh, see? There it goes. Bloop. It's my biggest fear. It's just breaking stuff. <laughs> Homes, especially once they're climbing over the million dollar mark. No, thank you. It's like Tim used to open the cabinets and then he walked into these homes and he no longer touches anything. Just kidding. Never not going to open a cabinet. But then from there we come into the living room. So tray ceiling, very uh, traditional feeling, I want to say, if that makes sense. Y'all get that same kind of feeling? Maybe it's just like the fireplace. Like it doesn't have, I wanna say like an ultra modern flair to it um, that you would expect kind of looking. And the, the exterior is not necessarily like super ultra modern, but uh, I don't know. It's just kind of the vibe I get from it. Got a cool little arch over here with the built-in. Huge windows looking back out onto the covered back deck. And, and maybe, it could be like, look at the windows, right? You've got uh, the top transoms. Like, I don't think that's something that you're gonna see because it's all about clean lines and that's kind of broken up a little bit uh, in terms of the mirrors. Maybe that adds to it a little bit too. I don't know. But anyway, beyond that, you come into the kitchen. You've got this huge wide island. Like this thing is massive. And then is there, yeah, storage. Both of the Rozier homes have had this and they've been having a considerable amount of space here on the front side of the island. So I, oop, I just bumped you. But I like that. I feel like if you're gonna have those, it's nice to, to at least make it usable. And then on this side, this little mini, little mini trash can drawer kind of soft opening, which is nice. And it, it, it hits like a apex point where it automatically catches and just goes in. But you've got the sink looking back out into the living room and then the dishwasher. And then along the back wall, kind of a cool range hood, it's like flush. And then you've just got this wood accent piece which looks pretty neat. Ooh, spicer, ooh, <laughs> we found them. Uh, we've, we've been seeing a couple of these. I like this though. You know, and I know people are gonna say something about, well, it's not good to put your spices up there because of moisture and stuff, but you know, 
I'll just go, I'll, I'll go, you know, if I ruin it, I ruin spices when they're not next to my stove. So I guess I'll just have to go get some new ones. But uh, I like it. I think it looks really neat. And then on either side of that, you've got kind of little buffet area. So maybe turn one into, I don't know, because you've got that over there. Maybe you put a coffee pot or something over there. I don't know what you would use over here. Maybe just your mixing space or you put your mixing appliances, uh, something like that over here. Built-in microwave and oven over here in the corner. Ooh, this is fun. This looks like it's gonna have something awesome behind it. Look at that. And there's two of them. So almost for like cans, maybe this would be for cans or you could add some more spices over here. Oh man, it just keeps getting better and better. You can put your pans down there. Soft clothes as well. Y'all, it makes me wanna, well, maybe not, we won't. <laughs> but all right, so we've got that. And then along the far wall, um, you've got some more counter space over here, a little spot to put the refrigerator. Y'all are gonna get me starting to open all the cabinets. We're gonna be here all day. Not gonna make it to the other homes. We've got a tour today. And then beyond the kitchen space, we've got a butler's pantry. Whoop, whoop. A little, or I, maybe this is just like a, I don't know. There's no shelving. I don't know if you'd actually call this a pantry, but uh, it's got some ship lapping going all the way around it. Got a little prep sink over here in the corner with two windows. We've got a beverage chiller. I would say more so like, probably like a butler's pantry is what I would call it. But uh, then you've got, this would be like the mudroom area with your hall tree. And then you have your pantry pantry. So that's cool. So yeah, that would be like chef's pantry, maybe butler's pantry, something along those lines. I would say butler's just because there's, there's nothing really over there to cook with. Um, but I'm sure one of you will, you will set me straight in the comments. And I like it because here is the garage. And of course you've got immediate access uh, out here into, or from the garage into the pantry area. So tons of space, perusing. You've got some little attic attic access panel right there. And that seems to be about it. And then from here, I guess we'll go ahead and work our way downstairs. All right, real quick before we go any further in this home, have you been dreaming of building the perfect home, but you've just been struggling to find the right plans? I know there's tons of them out there and we tour a whole bunch of them. Most of the time, the homes that we tour are in completely different areas from maybe where you are. But now you don't have to worry about it. I'm super excited to announce that we've officially partnered with ProfessionalHomePlans.com. It was founded by a group of people that we know, like, and trust and have worked with and toured their homes for several years now. The cool thing about ProfessionalHomePlans.com is they bring you a wide variety of different plans, whether you're looking for the ultra modern style home or you're looking for a traditional craftsman or anything in between, they have plans available to be purchased nationwide. But that's not all. With ProfessionalHomePlans.com, you can work with their incredible designers to customize each home to make it your ideal dream home. Each plan includes a cover sheet, foundation plan, floor plans, exterior elevations, building sections, roof plans, building details, and basic electrical plan. You know, that is one of the things that people are always reaching out to us about. How can they go about getting different home plans? So, here it is. While not all floor plans are going to be available from the homes that we tour, this is going to provide the widest variety and the biggest selection for you to choose from. And like we said, they are customizable. So go ahead and visit professionalhomeplans.com and get your dream home underway. And while you're over there, let them know that Timothy sent you. Let's get back to the tour. And we'll set this. Let's get over here. I just want you to see how, how wide this thing is. I'm going to set you down here real quick. It's not like a narrow set of stairs. Let's see, can you see? Yeah. All right. 
for scale. I'm six foot. Like it's just huge. It's a huge <laughs> staircase. I don't know. I just liked it. I thought it was neat. Uh, and I, I thought it was worthwhile to point out. All right. So there are, there's still a lot of things to get into down here, uh, but there's also a lot of storage. So just as soon as you get down here, uh, you've got this space, which I think is right below the garage. A little echo in here. But, uh, Man, look at this, wide open. You could do that, you could, you could do anything in here. Play badminton, race RC cars, all types of stuff. And there's a lot of those. Not quite that big though. So this one's a little bit smaller. This one's got the electric panel in it. And that's about it. Drop my paper. And you've got a nice big built-in right here. You know that would be cool. <laughs> oh, man, I wish this was like a secret door or something like that that just opened up into another space. Or even if it was just a storage room, right? And then you could turn it into whatever you wanted. I think that would be pretty neat. Just ideas. I know it's not there, but seeing that stuff, you know what I mean? I'm going to come back to this video in a couple of years when I go to build like the dream home. And uh, that's what's happening. So you also got a nice bar down here as well. A little prep sink, huge windows looking out into the backyard, a little microwave. And you've got the peninsula with tons of seating. Some nice little pennant lights hanging down over the top of it. And then we also have access out onto the back covered patio. So again, plenty of space out here. You can do a number of things. I left the door open. And then you've got another media room. So you could come down here, watch, watch some games. Turn it into a, a kid's game room. Get rid of all of this and put a giant pool table. But I like the little entertainment center right here with the accent lights. I think that looks pretty neat. And then of course you've got going throughout the whole basement, like running the length of it is a massive tray ceiling. And then this door, more storage. So this is up underneath of the stairs. And then you've got the furnace and water heater. Sump pump back in the corner. See, this one's no good for, for RC car racing. And then through here, you've got two more additional bedrooms. Oh, you know what you could do in that other room? If you do like a huge diorama of something, that would be neat, like the train sets or something like a Hot Wheels car racing track. But nice big room into its closet. And then it has its own ensuite, the single vanity, toilet, standalone shower. Oh, that's fun how they did the tile. Got some vertical and then some horizontal every now and again. Pretty neat. And then down the hall, we'll get, there's another bathroom right here. It's connected to this bedroom. We'll get into that in just a minute. But I mean, in terms of size, all of these bedrooms have been really nice, especially the secondary ones. Pretty much the exact same thing. The only difference is the bathroom, the ensuite. So it's got a pocket door on this side from the bedroom, and then it's just got a normal door, a hinged door coming from the hallway. So pretty much same thing, a little bit different uh, tile pattern. That's, that's, that's it.
Whew, all right, y'all let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or Rosier Homes, I'll leave that information for you down in the description. With that, I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed the tour. And as always, my name is Timothy. I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.